While making custom hit and kill sounds for Team Fortress 2, I came across a few issues trying to get them implemented. And one such issue is uh, this problem right here. Blocking get data pointer async io force ui slash kill sound dot wave. Uh, this means that your audio file is in the wrong format. The easiest way to fix that problem is to go to audio.online-convert.com forward slash convert to wave and then upload your file here and change these specific settings. You're going to change the bit resolution to 16 bit, change the sampling rate to 44,100 hertz, change the audio channels to mono, and then click the advanced options tab and then change the PCM format to PCM signed 16 bit big Endian. And then you're going to start the conversion, download it, and then you're going to put it in the folder that you were told to put it in when you were installing it. Another common problem that you may have is that the audio is still not playing despite the fact that you've got it in the right format uh, and downloaded it off this website here. So you're going to go into your custom folder, go into the folder where you have your sound, go to the sound folder, and then delete the sound cache file here. If you have a workshop folder, go into the sound folder there if you have it as well, and then delete the sound cache folder there, or the sound cache file there. And another one in the main TF uh, folder, go to sound, delete the sound cache file there. You probably don't have to delete all three of those. You could probably just delete the one in your custom files folder, but it's better to be safe than sorry. This isn't going to screw with the game or anything. It's just a sound cache file. It'll recache everything as soon as you boot up the game again. Uh, another issue that you may be running into is that it's still not finding the file. And that's pretty simple. It just means when you downloaded it from this website here, uh, something happened during conversion or downloading that corrupted the file and you just have to reconvert it, redownload it, and then put it in here and everything should be working smoothly. If you do have a sound in here and it's way too quiet, even though you've gone into your advanced options and you have it cranked and it's still too quiet, you can barely hear the hit sounds of kill sounds above the gunshots and explosions, there's a very simple fix for that as well. You're gonna go to do Audacity or whatever, um, whatever audio editing software you use, and you're going to add an EQ. In Audacity, it's under the Effect tab and Equalization. Uh, you can make adjustments based on what your sound actually is, what it sounds like, but generally, uh, what I do is I reduce the frequencies of the bass so that you get your bassy media explosions in TF2 not colliding with your original um, hit sounds and kill sounds and whatnot. And then you're going to ramp it up towards 3000 kilohertz. That'll help it punch above the mix of gunshots, of uh, speech, and uh, some other issues. And then I cut the high end as well pretty low. Uh, so that you can still hear the spies decloaking uh, and some other sounds that have that hissy kind of high frequency sound. And then another thing too is that you're going to crank the sound volume uh, until you're basically clipping. I had my sounds at minus three decibels and it wasn't enough. So uh, don't be afraid to clip it a little bit as I've done here in my example. Ah! Uh, this will be the easiest way to test it. Go to training, offline practice, king of the hill, and then set it to whatever you want and start practice. And then... Oh, I missed. Hopefully that fixes the issues. And uh, yeah.